Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is May 12, 2015, and today is Tuesday. So looking at the economic calendar today, uh, not much going on in the economic sector. Um, some news coming out of New Zealand later, much late today at about 10 o'clock, uh, Fed rate change there. Um, so we'll see how that plays out in the markets. But starting out with yesterday's start, we had a little bit of a uh, sell off the day before yesterday uh, in the Euro USD. We popped up just a little bit, about 20 pips. I said it would be a light day, and so it was. Um, as we see here, uh, not much going on. Uh, yesterday we sold off, and then you know we popped up a little bit just to recover a little bit from the sell off. Let's see how the week unfolds with the Euro USD. Uh, but I would like to keep it vis-a-vis -vis what's going on in the Dow Jones. So this is the Dow Jones, the index for the New York Stock Exchange. Um, and as we mentioned, we had this big rally last week with NFP number that came out. And sure enough, we sold off. Okay, we hit this uh, rigid level at this at this resistance level at eight, 18,000 and uh, 100 about-ish. And when we sold off, we're selling off to 18,039. So the question really is, is, is this going to hold? So um, if it does hold and we do, uh, you know, if we do just bounce even 30, 40 points and we, we stay in this range between 18,025, let's say, and 18,130, we may see something in the out, outside breakout. But if we break it lower today, I think it's going to be much harder for us to substantiate some sort of breakout on the upside. Um, so, again, if it's going to consolidate here uh, at these levels of, you know, a low of 18,025-ish level and a high of 18,130-ish level, uh, and it's going to somewhat just churn between these two levels, then I suspect that we will break out higher. But, you know, we really got to maintain a new level and sustain it in order for it to go higher. So let's see how that unfolds during the week. Looking at the other uh, sectors, the USD, um, the USD versus the British pound. British pound is nice, we, you know, rallying very nicely. As we see here, we had the sell-off and then we broke out. So, relatively speaking, the GBP has been very strong, uh, and it is recovering from its debacle of 175. Uh, so we see that it is coming back a little bit here at 155. Um, so, again. We see that it is bouncing, and it's bounced higher than this 154 level. So we could see uh, our next target of being 157. I would wait for a pullback before jumping into it, but you see that it is bouncing. Looking at gold, gold hasn't really done much. As we said yesterday, it's really just flatline at 1183. We're trading between 1187 and 1183. Let's see if this is going to unfold. And, and oil has been very quiet. So... You know, the, I'm waiting for the week to unfold, okay? The one thing that has been uh, actually trading is the czar, the USD czar. And the czar weakened a little bit overnight. And as you see here, about 25 pips. And we're, we're trading at above 12, 12 czar to the dollar. Um, and so, you know, it's, it, it's also finding a new, a little bit of a new area for itself at this above 12 area. So let's see if it does break out on the upside. And remember about two years ago, we were all the way at eight and a half, and now we're at 12. So, you know, that's a major move for a currency like the, the RAND, but I would keep it on the radar also to see if there are breakouts. Just trade it a little bit smaller because it is a little bit thinner and it does have, uh, you know, more volatile moves and the spread is a little wider. So on and so forth. So I would I would really suspect you know just taking it easy. Um, so let's see again what happens with the Dow Jones versus the Euro USD. GBP if it continues to weaken on the upside uh, up to 157 level. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.